Hi honeys, it's your queen bee. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this look based off of a picture. So I'm going to be testing out um, quite a few things in this video, so I will include those along with the tutorial. So if I haven't already put up the picture, here is what we are going to be doing. There's no video and I had to search really, really hard to actually like find who actually made the look in the first place. I found it on Pinterest at first, but it looked like something from Instagram. I finally found them, so I will put their name up here and give credit to them. I did follow them on Instagram already. Um, we're just going to try to look at the picture and do what we always do and just try to follow along. So now onto the foundation. This is actually really new. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Silk Milk Nourishing Foundation, and I got the shade Porcelain. Putting it on my skin, it's a little bit too light. I should have got the darker shade. Um, I think there was one that was a little bit lighter than this. So, I mean, going into like actual makeup stores and like testing them out is pretty much key. But I found this at Walmart. I've used it once and it does really good so far. <laughs> Now the only problem I can find with this foundation is it does kind of have like little tiny beads that it like kind of creates on my face. I don't know if it's just my face that does that, but I've never had a foundation to where it kind of creates like beading, um, like kind of like walling up. Um, so I don't know really how to like fix that. Mostly because I've never had a foundation do that before. I don't know if it's just this one. Um, like I think it has to be almost just this one because it's never, like a foundation for me has never done that before. Maybe it's just something that's in the foundation that kind of reacts a little bit different to my skin. But this is the second time I've used it and this is the second time it's done that. So I'm not really sure quite what makes it do that. So that's kind of one thing to look out for um, if you do try this foundation. That's just kind of what I've kind of found. But as you can see, it does blend out pretty well. Um, I know I look like Casper when I first put it on. I do need to get like a darker shade because it's a little bit light for even like my natural skin, I think. Um, but yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is the contour. And normally I do use a powdered contour. I use the um, Revolution one. But I've been trying to like incorporate different things in my makeup that I don't normally use. I have. And just to like not be so wasteful this year. So I have been using this NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. And it is like a li liquid contour. So we're just going to take the darkest one and do that first and then do the light one. So next up, I'm going to set everything with this Flower Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. And I've had this for a while. Um, this was probably one of my first setting powders. So it's actually really nice. I don't know what made me stop using it in the first place. I think it's just because I got another one. And that's kind of what happens to me a lot is like I buy a lot of products and I don't use up all the older ones. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do more for this month is like kind of start different pan projects because I don't like being wasteful and that's basically what I am. It's just really wasteful. So next up is the blush. And I love this blush. I got it from Ipsy. This is like the lightest pink blush that I have that's kind of sparkly and like shimmery. It is the Cy London little mini blush. Um, mini because it just came mini, but this is the pinch me one and it is so adorable. I love it so much and it matches my shirt. It matches the aesthetic we're going for because it's almost Valentine's like next week or something. It's so crazy. It's like super soon, but yeah, we're just going to take a little bit of this and just do my blush. Now another new product that we're going to be using, I got this back in December. This is the Revolution Makeup Liquid Highlighter and it's in the shade. I don't think it says a shade, but it's like a pink, um, 
like liquid highlighter. So we're just going to do a little bit here, a little bit on the bridge of my nose at the tip, and that'll be pretty much it. So then the next highlight we're going to go in with is the Benefits Cookie Highlighter, and it is so gorgeous. I love it so much. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to do one eye. We're just going to do one eye together, and then we'll do the other one on my own afterwards. Um, so this is going to be like a little bit of a step-by-step -step learning experience because I haven't tried this yet. I'm just going off the picture. So I just applied my eyeshadow base and it's the one from Essence. So it looks like in the picture, it's like um, pretty much the same color and then she does a cut crease. So what we're going to do for the base color is we're going to take this color in the What the Tea Hot Tea eyeshadow palette from The Balm and we're just going to take, I think we're just going to take this um, nudie color right here and it is the receipts and we're just going to do that basically all over just to get a nice base. <laughs> Now her eyeshadow is very rounded so I would not go past this little mark right here and since it's not really like an eyeliner to look, we're not going to like add eyeliner, we're not going to go anywhere out here. So we're just doing a nice little like half moon, like U shape, whatever you want to call it, just right here. And I'm not really putting any like on the bottom because it is more of a pinkish tone but I will put a little bit more right here and out. So the next color that we're going to add from the same palette is Word on the Street, which is a very nice pink color. And we're just going to do that pretty much only on the bottom, kind of where we're going to cut the crease and then mostly blend it with this shade right here. Have a pretty nice color going on now taking the huda beauty um new nudes palette the light one we're going to take the more pinkish color up here and we're just going to kind of go everywhere just on the bottom really out here just to make that color a little bit more pink <laughs> So, so far that's looking pretty good and we're just going to take this bottom nude color in the same Huda Beauty palette and just do um, more so on the outer part. Not really where we did the pink, like right here, but like more next to it. So there we have the base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Milani eyeshadow primer and we're just going to make a cut crease right here. So what we're going to do on top of where we put the primer, we're going to go in with this Revolution Eye Glisten in the shade Adore You and we're not taking the glitter side, we're taking the more matte side and putting it right on where we put the base. So there is that and we're just going to take nude color that's in the middle of the Huda Beauty palette and just kind of make that a little bit more lighter. And then switching back over to the, the Balm palette, the Hot Tea one, we're just going to do the white color in the shade Spill the Beans. The shadow is pretty much done. Now it's just the decorating part. So I'm going to be doing white hearts just like she has and just kind of trying to do um, pretty much the exact like pattern that she's doing. It's not going to be 100% correct because no one's perfect. So just kind of bear with me. So I messed up quite a bit, but that is okay. So I'm not going to exactly do exactly what she's doing um, because I feel like I'd be a little bit hard and like a little bit too much high pressure. So I'm just going to try to do something. <laughs> Thank 
So we're just gonna go ahead and try like a rose and hopefully that works. I'm just gonna draw a circle and then with the darker one do like a little squigglies and see if maybe that makes it look good. So I tried, um, we're just gonna add a little leaves and then we'll do the glitter and then hopefully the eyeshadow will look somewhat decent. The roses look a lot better than the hearts do. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah. So I got this glitter. It is the Revolution Eye Glisten. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna take the thin brush and just try to go inside the hearts and hopefully make it look a little bit better. So that makes it look kind of decent. Hopefully I can do better on the other on the other eye when I'm not filming it. I don't know. Um, my eyeliner is just not really the thinnest. So I think I'm going to have to take another brush whenever I do it and I don't know what I'm going to do. So the next step that I see is to do a little bit of glitter on the bottom and on the side. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. So like I said, she doesn't really have eyeliner on, like not real thick like I do. So we're just going to take my Too Faced one and just do like a little bit. And then we're going to take the Tarte one and do the waterline at the top. And I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want my camera to die. So she doesn't really have a whole lot of like mascara on or like fake lashes or anything. So we're going to try this new mascara I got that is pretty new. I got this at Walmart the other day. It is the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. And I've been waiting to try this for like since I heard it announced. And I mean, let's just dive in. It doesn't have a weird smell. I don't know why, but mascaras, I always have to check their smell because if it smells really funky and it makes me like gag, I probably won't use it. But this does not have a smell to it. It actually... So, so far I like it. It's definitely like clump free. And it is giving like a nice build over on this side. So after a few coats, it actually does like build pretty easy. Now in the picture, she doesn't have um, mascara on the bottoms, but I'm gonna do a little bit just to see what this mascara can do. Okay, so I actually think that looks pretty cute. I wish I could have done the hearts a little bit better, but I'm going to try on the other side to do um, way better. But that is, the eye, that is the eye look, and so far, loving it. Super pretty. So I'm going to do this side, and I will come back with basically like the lip products, and then we will be done. So here is the final look. I went ahead and did my lipstick because all it was was this CoverGirl um, melting pout and this hard candy plumping serum flashers glittery thing, whatever it's called. I kind of took and like did a little bit of like the glitter down here to make it look um, kind of like tears. Um, like, you know, the cartoony ones. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do my pictures. I'm thinking of just like doing like um, kind of what she did and just doing one eye with like the um, like flower thing. I think it has like a flower crown type of thing. Um, I'm not really sure. But yes, we're just going to do something kind of cool for the picture. And I mean, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done and come back with the outro. So this is the final look. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for my picture. It is raining outside, so I'll probably have to stay inside. I wanna do something about like tears or something like rain makes me cry or something like that. I have no idea or maybe like, I don't know. I don't wanna do something too like um, 
too sad because I don't want people to think I broke up with my boyfriend or anything like that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yes, I actually do like how this turned out. I put some more roses on this side and like kind of, I don't know, just kind of put a little bit more um, like time into making the details. But it's not really perfect. The hearts are um, not the best. I should have just done the plain white ones or maybe done pink ones. But yeah, it's all right. It's pretty much fine. That's just how it's gonna be. So hopefully you guys liked this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and check out all my stuff in the description below. Comment down below if you would try this look, if you like this look. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy if you know how to like do it. Um, the hearts were a little bit tricky for me, but that's just because my eyeliner pencil is just like really hard to use. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit tricky. And that's pretty much it. So with all that being said, Thanks for stopping by. Love you.